I am going to begin now to read the story of Winnie the Pooh. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when Tinkerbell rings her little bells like this. Let's begin now. In his wonderful world of make-believe, Christopher Robin, like most small boys, played with toy animals. His best friend is his teddy bear, Winnie the Pooh, called Pooh for short. Winnie the Pooh lived in an enchanted forest under the name of Sanders, which means he had the name over the door in gold letters. Beside the door was a bell for visitors to ring. Pooh did his stoutness exercises every day. Up, down, and touch the ground. Pooh's pantry was usually full of honey. Not this time. This time, no honey, just a bee. Winnie the Pooh followed the bee to a large oak tree in the middle of the forest. It was a honey tree, so Pooh climbed it. Suddenly, the branch on which Pooh Bear was standing broke, and down he dropped ten feet to the branch below. One day, while Christopher Robin was nailing on Eeyore's tail again, Winnie the Pooh came by. He had a bright idea. He'd fly up to the bee's nest on a balloon. Pooh Bear asked Robin to take him to a very muddy place. Pooh rolled in the mud until he was black all over. There now, isn't this a clever disguise? Asked Pooh. Oh, what are you supposed to be? Asked Robin. I'm a little black rain cloud, of course, answered Pooh. Now to fool the bees. Now would you aim me at the bees, please, said Winnie the Pooh. Pooh held on tight to the string on the balloon, and away he went, right up to the bees' nest in the honey tree. Christopher Robin waited below with an umbrella to make the bees think Pooh was a little black rain cloud. Then Pooh called out that the bees were very unfriendly. The queen bee pricked a hole in the balloon and down came Winnie the Pooh. Luckily, Christopher Robin was there to catch him. When Winnie the Pooh put his mind to honey, he stuck with it. He went to Rabbit's house and invited himself in to lunch. Rabbit was polite. He asked Pooh to have some honey. Pooh was delighted. So he ate and ate and ate and ate until at last he said goodbye and thank you. So Pooh tried to leave Rabbit's house but his enlarged roundness only got halfway out of the rabbit's small, round front door. Oh, 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 help and bother! I'm stuck, cried Pooh. Rabbit ran for help. Owl flew over to give advice. Mr. Gopher popped up from the ground. Soon Christopher Robin and Rabbit and Kanga and Roo came running up to Pooh's rescue. They all agreed that the Pooh Bear was indeed stuck. Owl looked over the situation and with great wisdom said, You, sir, are stuck. A wedged bear in a great tightness. In a word, irremovable. Ha, ha, ha. Winnie the Pooh just sighed and just stayed stuck. Christopher Robin and all his friends gathered around the entrance to Rabbit's house. They all decided that they would have to wait for Pooh to get thin again before they could pull him out. Poor Pooh. 
So there was Winnie the Pooh stuck until he could get thin. All Pooh's friends sat down to wait. But, of course, none of them were stuck, and so they were able to eat. Kanga brought the food, and they had a picnic lunch. All except poor Pooh. No food for him until he became unstuck. When night came, Kanga brought a warm shawl to keep Pooh from getting cold. Roo went to sleep, and so did the Pooh Bear while Kanga sang a lullaby. Day after day, night after night, each of his friends did what they could to help. Then one wonderful morning, Pooh budged. Rabbit pushed with all his might from inside his house. Christopher Robin pulled hard, holding Pooh's paws. Kanga pulled on Robin. So did Roo. Eeyore tugged on Kanga's tail, while Gopher hauled away with Eeyore's tail over his shoulder. Owl hooted with pleasure. Suddenly, as they pulled and pushed and tugged, Pooh popped out of the doorway with a great swish and flew through the air. Christopher Robin fell back. Kanga tumbled over Eeyore and Roo stumbled backwards over Owl. But Pooh kept on going up, up, up right towards the honey tree and he didn't stop until he popped right into the bee's honey nest. We'll get you out. Pooh Bear, they called. No hurry. Take your time. Mmm, yum, yum. Bears love honey, and I'm a Pooh Bear. Yum, yum, sang a happy Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs>